Well, at a time when India is in the middle of uh, an incredible lockdown, unprecedented in our history, home delivery services have been a real priority. But getting home delivery services across has never been easy in the last several days. The situation is easing out now, uh, but several leading organizations have faced a whole lot of problems. Joining us now, Amit Agarwal, the country head of Amazon. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Mr. Agarwal, for uh, being with us. Um, I realize that the last couple of days uh, have been extremely difficult. Uh, getting supplies across to your customers has been impossible because of supply chains having been disrupted because of the lockdown which is uh, uh, taking place. Uh, what exactly is your roadmap going forward to ensure that your customers get what they have ordered? I, I want to first start with uh, Vishnu hoping you uh, family, your viewers, uh, their loved ones are all okay, safe and healthy. Uh, these are unprecedented times for every one of us. Uh, and uh, it's kind of, it's one of those moments where, you know, we really have to understand that our topmost priority as individuals, as a nation, as, as a planet, has to be to stop the spread of the virus. So uh, we have been very focused on that priority single-mindedly. Uh, and that starts with safety safety uh, uh, for keeping ourselves safe, keeping our employees safe, keeping our facilities safe and sanitized. So our first and foremost uh, actions were to ensure safety of everyone. Uh, pe people like uh, everyone else is working from home. Uh, we've been taking extra precautions, adhering to the World Health Organization guidelines, the government best practices, right. uh, to make sure that uh, there is extensive education in terms of hygiene practices, uh, sanitization, even implementing new rules in our fulfillment and delivery centers to keep at least two meters of distance so that we can adhere to the social distancing rules. Uh, so that has been a, 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 the first effort. And then um, our uh, a, a really important need that Amazon is fulfilling at this point in time is to make essentials available to our customers. Uh, so, uh, you know, at this point in time, when we're trying to reduce the spread, be at home, uh, E-commerce is a very important lifeline and it's a very safe way to get your essentials because it minimizes the interaction between employees and customers. Uh, on that front, we have been uh, getting uh, extremely good support from the central and the state governments. It is effort because this is new for everyone. Each one of us is learning every day and everybody is doing their bit, but we have to get clearances uh, because there's a lockdown. Uh, we have to work with local enforcement authorities, well, literally at a district level, to ensure that we have the right curfew passes so that our associates can travel out and deliver the products safely without, uh, without concern. We also have to make sure that they feel safe to come to the premises. Uh, so arranging for that, making sure the environment is safe but so that me, they can deliver the customers. They are with, everyday with heroes of, that we are very inspired to see how they are stepping up. No, I, you know, I mean, you mentioned a lot of points over there, but as far as essential services uh, are concerned, because of the lockdown, how difficult have the delivery of even essential services been affected? Our entire resources, facilities have been prioritized to first deliver essential products. And as soon as we get a city or a pin code up and running, we are first prioritizing essential product orders that have been placed before the existing orders before we start serving new orders. So that's what our priority is. Uh, you know, uh, it's very important for us to see through these initial lockdown days to keep uh, social distancing to a maximum. Uh, and our priority during this time as laid by the government and the Honorable Prime Minister is to make sure that we are focused on the most essential products, which tends to be grocery, medical supplies, food for customers at this point in time, we will get there. We will get there to serve other products, but right now this is the priority. No, but in terms of some of the problems which you might face in the present scenario with the lockdown, uh, because the number of orders that you're able to take is actually limited, what are some of the problems in actually delivering essential services which you may be facing? Uh, uh, this is a, a literally a district by district uh, operation to restart, to, if you will. So as I said, we have to ensure that at the district level, we have the right curfew passes 
uh, and the labor to safely implement the social distancing rules that we have in place and to deliver to our customers in a safe manner. So that we live, we have to be very careful to start when we are, when when all of this infrastructure is in place, and it and it and we we are slowly and steadily starting operations. We have started in uh, several cities. Uh, we have two formats: Amazon Fresh that delivers fresh vegetables and other daily grocery, and Amazon Pantry that uh, serves a lot of other essential products, including staples and other grocery items that are non-perishables. Uh, Amazon Pantry uh, typically is available in 100 plus cities. Amazon Fresh is typically available in four cities, but in all of these cities, we are prioritizing first existing orders before we can take new orders. Now, each city, each district is at a different point in time, depending upon the permissions and the backlog that we have. So people will have to be patient. We really thank our customers for the trust. And our website is the best way to find out what's up and running uh, and uh, what, where are we serving new orders versus still uh, serving the existing backlog. Um, Mr. Agarwal, obviously, Amazon operates at a, a huge scale internationally and within India. Uh, you've got an entire supply chain that is directly linked to the fact that you bring in so many supplies from outside the country. And then within the country, you've got an entire chain the, uh, taking in an item, transporting it to a warehouse, transporting it to where it's uh, required. How much of this entire chain has been uh, disrupted very badly? as a result of the lockdown, something that affects lakhs of people in your community, uh, your executives, your delivery uh, executives. Uh, uh, give us an idea of what this disruption is for your business. I think, um, uh, you know, when I, I can talk to you in terms of India, uh, uh, the backbone of a supply chain are the hundreds of thousands of businesses that sell on Amazon. And it is a tough time for them. It is not business as usual. Uh, and it is a time for stress and anxiety. So we have communicated to all our sellers that we are prioritizing essential products only at this point in time, uh, which means that uh, you know, for, for all the sellers who are not selling uh, these products, they have to wait. Uh, it's, it's a tough time for them. Uh, and it's true everywhere in the country for them, even if uh, offline stores. Uh, and to mitigate some of that anxiety and uh, cost then, we have made sure that we have waived the uh, appropriate fees that they would have to incur uh, during this point in time. We have also uh, lifted all storage fees, all long time storage fees. We have relaxed the operational uh, metrics that we use to uh, evaluate their performance so that uh, uh, during this period of time, they are not being penalized. So we're taking actions to the extent we can to mitigate their stress and anxiety and costs. Uh, at the same time, uh, you know, this is a, uh, the, as I said, it, it, it's, it's a full supply chain and you're right, uh, that we need to make sure that uh, the supplies can make it to the warehouses, they can be stored uh, safely or from on the seller locations, they can be picked in a safe manner and delivered to the customer. And we're doing this at a district level. Uh, the, the government is being very helpful and responsive to the concerns being raised because each one of us is learning as we go and we are seeing uh, a good uh, responsiveness from the central government and the state governments take action when we bring it to them. People will have to be a little bit patient because this is new for all of us. In the last, uh, in the first few days of um, the lockdown, uh, what were some of the problems that your, your delivery agents faced? Uh, were they assaulted by the police? I think we have to understand that uh, uh, this is probably, I, I don't recall uh, growing up ever seeing such a national level lockdown. And uh, you have to have very strict measures to keep people at home to ensure that the message is taken seriously. Now in that context, if you think about the local enforcement officer or, or the police locally, they have to uh, uh, avoid having to make judgment calls on who is allowed and who is not. So in the days where we didn't have passes and we were still trying to figure this out, it was difficult. It was difficult for the associates to go out and be safe. And we, uh, for Amazon, we took the more conservative route to not start our operations in that situation. Uh, we right. wanted to make sure that we have the right curfew passes to make sure our associates are first safe before we start. 
so I would say that we have been extra careful, uh, and and I understand and appreciate why some of these uh, uh, communication breakdowns have happened. Things are getting better every day, every hour. Uh, I think it's time for us all to be together and to get uh, uh, first through this most sensitive period to keep the spread down, uh, keep people safe at home. Now we have taken a few actions to lighten them up, you know, just so that you and your viewers know. We have made uh, uh, several electronic books free for our customers so that they can read. We have uh, enabled several kid shows and movies for free without Prime subscription. So you don't need to have a Prime subscription to see that so that kids can be at home and engaged. Uh, we have worked as an industry Prime video to reduce the bit rate of transmission so that we don't spare cellular networks. And, and we have announced a 100 crore target uh, to raise money for all COVID efforts out there in the PM Cares Fund and many other NGOs. And I encourage uh, your viewers to go and give. Uh, Amazon is matching up all employee contributions and it's also topping up all customer contributions by 10%. So please give. Uh, there are lots of people working on this together. This is a time for us to all step up, do our bit, stay at home, keep the spread down, uh, be a little patient, uh, keep our uh, needs to be essential things, uh, and so, I'm absolutely sure uh, we will get through this together and probably come out of it just stronger, more resilient, and more appreciative of the things that we have and things that we love. So one final question to you, uh, Mr. Agarwal. The economy is obviously in a mess. It's bound to be given what we've seen. Uh, just in terms of going forward, once we get out of this uh, COVID nightmare, do you believe that demand for your, uh, your products, what you sell, uh, through your network will revive quickly? Well, I think our first uh, and foremost objective is safety and uh, and helping customers be home to spread, uh, to stop the spread of virus. And we are really not thinking beyond that. Uh, you know, all of the things will take care of itself. All of us need to come out of this safe and healthy. Uh, and, and that's what Amazon is focused on. That's what we are focused on uh, uh, to fulfill the trust and the responsibility our customers have in us to see through this difficult times. And I want to assure them that, you know, our entire team is working around the clock to make that happen. All right. Well, Amit Agarwal, country head of uh, Amazon, thanks very much for speaking to us, explaining what you are doing in this situation and why it's difficult to deliver everything, but hopefully the road ahead will be better. Thanks very much. Thank you for having me. Stay safe and be healthy. Thank you.